Hello my friends. Join me as we travel back in time to when the Tower of Babel was being built in Shinar, as told from the Bible, Genesis 11 verses 1 to 9. You do recall the story of Noah? Well, if you do not, please watch my video called Noah and the Great Flood. Noah had a son whose name was Ham. Noah's grandson was named Cush, and his great-grandson was called Nimrod. Nimrod was a mighty hunter and leader of his family. They all spoke the same language. Nimrod decided to build a great city on the flat plains of Shinar for his family. To show his strength and power, he wanted a tower to reach as high as heaven. Nimrod lay awake at night thinking about his tower. The problem was that there were not enough stones nearby to build with, and anyway, the stones that were close were uneven. The tower would fall over if he built it too high using with what he had available. He had an idea. Instead of using round stones, he would make flat bricks, drying them in a fire until they were hard and strong. With a good foundation he could build higher than anyone had ever done. Look out below! Everyone worked together building the tower. The bricks were held together with tar and the tower grew higher and higher. It was going to be the tallest tower on earth. God saw Nimrod's pride and knew that now people could figure out how to do anything they dreamed to do without trusting God at all. God decided to do something about it. God worked a miracle. People suddenly began to speak with new words in different languages. The workers couldn't understand what they were saying to each other. Du redest lustig. They got annoyed and had difficulty working with each other. Because of this, the work on the tower came to an end. After a while, groups of families who spoke the same languages left Babel together to find their own places to live. Different languages and ways of living spread all over the world. Thus, the Tower of Babel was never built.